the 1992 Constitution states that every citizen of Ghana of 18 years or above and of sound mind has the right to vote. But who does the Constitution define as having a sound mind? Inclusion Inclusion Ghana, a non-governmental organization advocating for the inclusion of persons with intellectual disabilities, says it will seek interpretation of the matter at the Supreme Court. From afar, you may assume that the group here is distributing flyers to invite the public for a program, but they are not. In a rather unusual way, they are members of Inclusion Ghana, a non-governmental organization giving out tips for communicating with persons with intellectual disabilities during elections. For uh, persons with disabilities, yes. According to the World Health Organization, persons with intellectual disability in Ghana represent 3% of the Ghanaian population. Section 29 of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability provides that state parties guarantee that persons with disabilities participate in political and public life. Article 42 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana also provides for the rights and freedom of persons above 18 years and of sound mind to vote. The question is, who does the Constitution describe as having a sound mind? They do have a voice. They, they can make a choice of what dress they can wear. They can make a choice of what food they can eat. So at what point do they lose their sound mindness? Uh, we think that it's contrary to I mean what the convention is saying and even what our I mean disability act also says we are um, profiling a case to go to the Supreme Court for interpretation of that sound mind um, our view is that if you look at a lot of um, uh, constitution or if you like policies of several countries now the issue of sound mind is becoming obsolete I followed up on some persons with intellectual disability who had some thoughts on the 2016 elections. Mafia here has Down syndrome and Michael has cerebral palsy. We're here to find out what they know about the 2016 elections in December. Michael, are you a registered voter? Yes. So you'll be voting on December 7th? Yes. Who will you be voting for? I vote for NDC. You've decided on NDC. Why NDC? They come and help me. Do you know the candidates contesting in this year's elections? If you know, name them. I have the mama and then Pakwiki and then Akufado. Who are you going to vote for on December 7th? Please, MPP. Why MPP? Because I want them to help us. We, we, we students. What? Do you want to tell the politician? Please, I want to tell them they, they should not fight and they should not insult. They should all vote quiet. Inclusion Ghana says it has collaborated with the Electoral Commission on meeting the needs of persons with disability. Ghana had a historic you know, opportunity in 2012 to have persons at the Accra Psychiatry Hospital to vote. Now, if you look at the number of rejected ballots and you compare it to the rejected ballots in a lot of uh, places where voting takes place, it was the least that was counted. I think this is historic and it's telling you something that you cannot ignore these people. They have showed that they are capable and we think that Ghana as a country must give everybody a chance. Porsche Gabo, TV3. What an interesting news and joining me on Skype right now to explain the mental health aspect of the law on sound mind is Noti Dua. Noti Dua is a clinical psychologist will be getting him back now. Thanks for agreeing to speak with us, Noti Dua. Briefly, how would you describe somebody, I mean medically, that that person has a sound mind? Thank you. Thank you for your presence, but sound mind is in control of the therefore can be responsible for their actions. And they are aware of the 
of their actions. So when we say somebody's of sound, they have mastery of the mind and can be held accountable for actions and are capable of logical, you know, reaching at so is, 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 is it that easy for somebody at a police station to determine that somebody is of sound mind Can you or repeat not? that? It's not clear. Yeah, I'm asking if it is easy for anybody, particularly on election day, somebody is at the police station and another person sitting by electoral document determines that this person is of sound mind and that one is, of, is not. Is it easy? Is it easy to determine? Based on a person's action behavior, you can generally infer that they are aware of the processes, they are, the consequences of the action they take are to the electoral itself, and that would deem them to I believe it becomes a bit more, there's a challenge based on the rational behavior or thought content evidence that uh, is capable of uh, rational judgment and therefore can voting pros right um we well, we apologize for the bad sound in this interview i mean it's an issue concerning who is uh, medically sound to vote on election day. And uh, well, we try, we're speaking to Notidua, who is a clinical psychologist, but it's been pretty difficult. We apologize for the bad sound.